That is iShow Speed, the world's largest streamer. And that's him getting kidnapped by one of the most dangerous gangs in Brazil. That is, if this wasn't all orchestrated by me to scare the shit out of him and reach global virality. It started when Speed messaged me seven days ago. Bro, who did you hit up when you went to Brazil? It's Speed, by the way. I mean, I have connects, but they would need me to accompany you. Bro, can you come with me or you can't, dog? Is this scary, bro? Because I'm like not trying to die. Like, no bullshit. Okay. I'll get us a guy who knows you're a bit retarded. Bro, I want to do it so bad. I just don't want to die. Don't worry, Speed. With me, nothing can go wrong. I'm going back to a country where they have slums ran by gangs. It's completely lawless in these parts. And if you film at the wrong time, there's a high chance you get shot. But I got a good connect. Meet T.O. Phil, a rapper who served 18 months in prison for a crime he didn't commit. T.O. was raised in Cidade de Dios. And let's just say he's getting us full access to the entire favela experience. But I'm not just gonna send Speed in there without scouting it myself. When it's me risking my life, it's a completely different story. Do you know how hard it is to make sure this mother doesn't get shot in the favelas? This game is not scary, dog. The night before, I met up with Teo Phil and his girl, Julia. Welcome back, guys. Right now, we're meeting our connect. Okay, Speed lands tomorrow. I want to make sure the favela is safe for Speed because I know he's going to be super scared, so I just want to make sure our connect is, is a good one prior to us sending him into the favela. Teo, estou aqui, multi-market. I'm, like, let's, I'm thinking in my head, like, let's walk outside and start filming, but I know what happened last time I walked into a favela and started filming. Last time I walked into a favela and started filming without permission, we got pulled out to the uh, to the side, and, and they basically questioned us, made sure what we were doing, they walked us into an alley. That's on my website, we had to remove that off YouTube, because the, the gang threatened us afterwards. For the Brazilian viewers, we're both gringos pedido. Dois gringos pedido na favela. What's pedido? It's like, lost gringos. Valeu, valeu. Hermão, how are you, bro? <laughs> nice to see you, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Ahabi. 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 That's how you say Arab. Instantly, off the bat, I could feel their positive energy. This is something you can't fake. How are you, bro? Hi, bro. You have a strong handshake, bro. Wow. Muito, muito musculo. He said it straight up as soon as we go. We're gonna see some drug dealers doing their thing, so we cannot record it yet. Okay. Even just going in. Oh, uh, turn it off. Yeah. Okay. I know the open market, right, with the drugs. Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen it before. Am I? Okay. We're putting the camera. We can't film entering because in favelas there's open drug tables literally in the middle of the road. I've actually filmed them before with permission, but YouTube wouldn't allow that. So it's on my website, arabuncut.com. All right, we're good. We pulled the cameras back out. We're in now. Okay, so today there's a big baile, there's a big funk dance, like party in the middle of the street. So the idea here is that we're gonna take speed through a bunch of Brazilian culture. Uh, we're gonna dye his hair, okay? We're gonna take him to a party. We're gonna play football with him, and then I wanna prank him with some of these gangsters. Wow. It's a bit scary coming in a second time, you know? Like, I got the camera out, and people already know that I've made a video before. I can't hear what's happening. You want to drink anything he's asking. Okay, uh, no, no. Uh, I, I stopped drinking alcohol. And and we also want to uh, give back to some of the kids, if that's possible, tomorrow. We're going we're, we're, we're to bring some cash. We're going to bring some cash to give back. 
Okay. Whatever the best way to do that is. Aí eu tô começando a escrever uma música em inglês. He wrote a music specifically because you were coming, and now he's gonna start writing in English. Oh really? Yeah. Tipo, tô escrevendo ainda. Tipo, he's still writing it. Hi, girlfriend. Let's have lunch. Whoa, 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 make you desert. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, she's in love with you. Okay. She's in love with you. I, <laughs> I even teach him English. So he was saying <laughs> that this community on the TV shows a lot of violence and a lot of things, but it's a type of peace. They put up the tree as white. Yeah. And this community brings up a lot of peace for a lot of people. It's not just violence. They only show the violence. We see it. Yeah, that's what I mean. He was uh, in jail for a Six year months? and a half. Oh, a year and a half. Comprovar me a inocência. He was able to prove his innocence. Really? Yes. After that, he was able to get like the opportunity to go to São Paulo and produce like 30 different uh, songs. Really? Depois the government paid for it. Foi o governo que pagou? No, no, no. no. They, didn't give, they, didn't, they didn't give you any any reparation for. No, after he was, uh, he got a. He has to do a process against the government so he gets anything he has to back. Sue them. Yeah. And he has to sue them. So after he got out, he got a contract by Universal Music doing 30 songs on a normal session with a bunch of artists, like a collab session yeah. with a bunch of artists. He made it 30 in one day. Right. And then Universal Music contracted him. <laughs> oh, so fun. nice. And then oh, he got here. Oh, you're, a, oh, you're so killing it, bro. I love this, bro. I love this. We're back. We're back, we're, we're, we're in the favelas, we're back in filming mode. A lot of eyes on us as we walk by, but that's the standard, you know, when you come in here. Plus, we're a bit known now in Brazil for the our video that went viral. So, it is still kind of, you know, you're, you're on edge a bit as you walk through and you're talking to a camera. But this is, the, this is what we gotta do to set it up for the boys and make sure that they're safe. Hey, can I play these guys in pool? <laughs> I'll buy them beers if they beat me. Let me Playing pool is an easy way to earn local acceptance, so I always entertain a game or two. Looks like Arabs winning. First time I played this when I came to Brazil, I got shit on. They never told me the rules, they just scammed me for all my money. The thing is, even if I if, even if I win, I'm gonna buy them all beers anyway. I, I'm building a good rapport here because we're coming back tomorrow, so. <laughs> So, so, so check this. So part of this game is hiding the cue ball behind his balls so that I can't hit mine and then he gets to score two with his hand. I saw this video once of a dude in Brazil slaughtering seven people because he lost a wager. Yeah, I I'm not trying to get killed. I mean, my life here isn't in danger, but let's avoid it when we can. Buying beers only has a net positive, and the guy did end up beating me in a best of three anyway. They're lost, they're lost. Para você, para você, o campeão. Para você. O campeão. Para mim, o campeão. Não precisava, mas... You didn't have to. Oh, I love playing, I love playing pool in these Brazilian spots. When you were playing pool, a guy with an M16 just rode up on a motorbike. Wait, did you film it? <laughs> no, uh, uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> oh, oh, so this Christmas tree? is built by the people out of the community and mainly like, by the honor of this community on the like the the gang owner of this yes, community. Yes, exactly. He builds this for the community, the Christmas tree. That way, the kids have something to celebrate. This place yeah. is literally called City of God, so they got a Christmas tree here. Uh, the 13th 
And and now we're basically we're gonna discuss now how we're gonna prank speed. Right. So should we do it here? Or we should go somewhere and sit. Huh? He's saying that he follows you. He's saying that he's following. You see myself? Yeah? How are you, bro? Suanoma. Uh -huh. What's your name? What's your name? Victor. 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 Nice bro. Very, very well, well taken care of, Victor. You're a smart kid. What do you want to do when you grow up? He said he's going to be a cop man or, or a soccer player. You're going to be a cop? Or a soccer player. Don't say that in front of the guys, bro. <laughs> wow. I love the favelas. I love the favelas. <laughs> Here is a rap battle goes on. Is there one tomorrow? No, it's a Wednesday, and he organizes it. Can we, or can, can we organize a rap battle tomorrow? You guys, you guys know speed. You watch speed. Speed. Amanya. Amanya, speedy. I don't know speed, do they? Uh, some of them. Speed. I'm more famous than you, bro. I don't know. What's... <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Welcome, welcome. Tell them if they have any hot older sisters to send them my way. I love Brazilians. <laughs> Oh, I, do I like Mr. Beast? Do I am Mr. Beast? You watch Mr. Beast? Yeah. I'm not Mr. Beast, no. He's got a lot of charisma. Look at the look at the way he just works, people. He is so charismatic. Tio is so charismatic. Hi. 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 Anthony. Quantos años? Three. Three. Cuatro. You're four years old. Hi. Bye. My ball. My ball. My ball. Yes, my ball. Yes, my ball. Yeah. Yeah, do you have a pen? I don't have a pen. There's a church service behind us. And down there there's a party. There's a church service and a party right down the street. Woo. Thank you, bro. Yeah, where do you want me to you want me to sign your shirt? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, happy signing their shirts. Everyone wants an autograph. Go! Amanya, Amanya. Amanya. All right. Cool. So, we're good to go. So far, everything seems good. You know, we're safe to bring speed here. You want me to sign your hand? Yeah? yeah. Really badly. That badly. You want me to sign your hand? Does he know that's gonna get washed off? <laughs> I love that, man. I love that. We're so happy. Well, they're gonna end up watching this video when they grow older, you know? Like. <laughs> God is the savior. Jesus is the savior. The cat just chilling up there. So, so we have a bunch of guys in masks come up okay. and have them have them be very aggressive. They don't have to hurt us, but I want them to be no, in character. No, 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 no. I want them to be in character. If they need to, if, if, if they need to grab us, you know, if they need to grab us. Well, no, no. You're you're our tour guide, so you need to try to be on our side. You need to pretend you're on our side. No, okay, okay. He's like, hey, this is a, this is a misunderstanding. And you, you can, and you can freak out. No guns, no guns. No guns. Maybe a bat? Uh, like a baseball bat? Okay, yeah. But no, no machete. No, no sword, no machete. No machete, no, no weapons. Baseball bat, maybe chain, maybe a chain. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. 
and 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 be very very angry as if like you know like like as if two two gringos are here and they should not be you know why are you filming we need to talk come with us let me ask you something you're gonna get the guys with the masks yeah we want them with masks we want them with masks okay yeah we can pay them yeah we can pay them how much do we need to pay to be good better they're gonna do the acting and then you're gonna rate it and pay the guys and pay them. Uh, okay, at the end. After all this stuff, okay, yeah. Yes. And after the kids, after good. everything. That's We're good. not gonna put a price on it. That's good. And just like that, everything was in place. The next morning, a few hours before the prank, I met up with Speed's manager to make sure we were all on the same page. And after having let them in on all the details, it was time to prank Speed. It's good, bro. What's up, bro? You ready? Nice to meet you. Are you ready? I'm ready, bro. Hey, don't look at me and ask me if I'm ready, bro. I just woke up from a nap. Did, did you say goodbye to your mom? No, bro. Chill, bro. You didn't, you didn't call your parents, bro? No, I might make a video, though, bro. No, you no. should. It's, I, I, I minimize the chances of, like, us potentially dying to, like, 30%. So, so... There's, so it's a 70% chance we're gonna die. Yeah, there's a... Um, no, no, no. There's a 30% chance we're gonna die. So we're 70% chance we're good. Wait, dead ass. No, I mean, it, it might not be 30. What, what would you think slips? Like 25? Maybe like 15. 15. I, it, I might be exaggerating a little bit. Not US dollars. <laughs> it's like... 3,000. Well, so I just give them to the kids? Yeah, you just hand each one hey, one ice, bill. Hey, ice, hey, ice. Yeah, yeah, we just, each one you hand one. It's like 10 bucks. Each one is 10 bucks. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You buy them some food. You know, you so fetch some starving children. extra shit. Are you ready, though? Like, yeah, be I'm honest. Ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah? I'm ready. Are you excited for the favelas? Yes, bro. I'm ready, bro. Okay, this one, this one's pretty like visually nice, in a bad way. Bro, you keep trolling, bro. I don't wanna die. You're, you're not gonna die, bro. You're gonna come out with a favela wife, and you'll probably have scouted the next Neymar. Uh, we're going to the favelas, boys. So Speed's bodyguard is wearing a bulletproof vest, which is like, don't do this 101 in a favela, because what are you gonna do? Run away from 40 dudes with an M16? So. We gotta cover his bulletproof vest with. Thank you. Coincidentally, my merch. Put it on, see if it covers the vest. No there we go. Yeah, it covers it much better. My heart being fast as fuck. Only thing I would be able to scream, bro. I don't even think I'll be able to scream. I think you'll be fine. So You're good. You just focus on doing you. All the logistics will be handled. We'll handle all the rest. Do they know we're pulling up? Like the leaders? Yes. No, like we might catch a stray bullet. Fucking God, bro. No, you'll be fine, bro. You'll be fine. Hopefully. Chat, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm pretty, pretty nervous right now, y'all. I'm nervous, y'all. I'm scared, to be honest, y'all. Because this might be my last live, chat. I love y'all boys so much. Okay? Hey, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Worst case. I know you're thinking about, like, what's the worst that could happen. Yes. You're, you're panicking a little. Worst case, we get shot at a few times. Bro, what the fuck do you mean by that, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oi, oi. Oh, shit. Puta que você já vem vindo. Chat, turn me up. We in Brazil, bro. Oh, shit. You ready for this, bro? Let's fucking turn up. Let's fucking turn up, bro. I'm scared, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie. He's not gonna die, right? I don't think so, no. Like, we just wanna make sure he doesn't die. What do you mean you don't think so? Bro, bro, I'm about to go, bro. While Speed was scared roaming around the favela, I realized I, uh, I forgot to tell his bodyguard. So I tell him midstream, and Speed starts panicking, looking at us like, "What the hell? Are we okay? Uh, what are you telling him?" I'm scared as fuck, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Let's turn up, though. Fuck it, bro. I can't. Again, again. Psych! I took speed through the entire favela experience, from handing out money to kids, to motorcycling on the back of some local gangsters, and then handing out thousands more to the children. Speed was so locked in.
he was in his element, which was the perfect time to scare the shit out of him. What were you saying? Yeah, where are we going? Yeah, where are we going? Relax, relax, Oh God, I'm never doing shit with you again, bro. I have to give you the full favela experience. Oh my God, I thought I'd die. Oh, I thought I'd fucking die. Sorry about that one, Chad. Oh my God, I thought I'd fucking die.